Hello everyone, my name is Sam Daniel Ashokan. I'm from third year, Culinary Academy of India. And my concept for today is mushrooms. The reason why I've chosen mushrooms is uh, most people are very skeptical about eating mushrooms as they are known to be poisonous, but in reality, they're not all, all that poisonous. There are a lot of varieties of edible mushrooms that are there. So you can see I made a replica of king oyster mushrooms out here, and they are kept on a slab of wood. That the reason because is that mushrooms are uh, known to grow on oak wood, oak wood trees a lot. And I've kept uh, chocolate soil on my wooden plank so that it can resem resemble the real earthen soil. And um, the reason why I've chosen mushroom is that uh, mushrooms is not only just tasty in eating and, uh, and rich in flavor, with, which technically is uh, very well known for having an umami flavor, but the reason why I chose mushrooms is because it's also good for your health. There are a lot of health values in mushrooms as there are antioxidants uh, in them. The most common antioxidant inside a mushroom is selenium. And um, as you can see, I'm putting various prop props for my uh, display. Here's a bl black summer truffle. It's very difficult to find black summer truffles as they grow underground. And there are special sniffer dogs for that. And here we have a red tip mushroom. Although they're very poisonous in nature, Many people are very, very well aware about this mushroom's existence as most people have seen it in your video games such as Mario. And here we have portobello mushrooms. Portobello mushrooms are nothing but your matured button mushrooms. Here we have enoki gold, which can be eaten as it is. It does not have to be cooked. You just have to drizzle some olive oil and salt on it. Here are the common button mushrooms, which are used in almost every household. Here we have shimeji mushrooms, which are used in Japanese cooking. And finally, we have enoki white mushrooms.
have it, my final product, which is the mush mushroom display. So mushrooms in French is called a champignon, which is written on my uh, tent card out here. And in my prop, I've decided to display a, a few varieties of mushrooms, such as enoki gold, portobello mushrooms, shimiji mushrooms, enoki mushrooms, as well as button mushrooms, which are very commonly used. Now, for, my bo for the bottom of my display, I've put some chocolate soil, which resembles the real earthen soil that we use. And yeah, as we all know, uh, mushrooms are grown on the ground. And um, then we have a few uh, thermocol carvings of morels and red tip mushrooms and the summer truffles, which are black truffles. And also we have a huge cluster of mushrooms, which are, uh, which are basically resembling the uh, king, king oyster mushrooms. And we also have a log, which generally resembles a log which, when mushrooms grow a, grow a lot on the logs. And um, I find for the final uh, explanation, what I want to talk about is my dish. My dish has shoe paste crisp, a coral tree, um, a mushroom and garlic timbal, basil oil, uh, cream cheese sauce, walnut crumble, and al almond snow. So almond snow was made by putting olive oil in mal malto dust. Uh, uh, walnut crumble was made by sorting walnuts, sugar, butter, and a little bit of breadcrumbs together. And finally, we baked it in an oven on a silicon mat. And the cream cheese sauce was made with cream cheese as well as be bechamel sauce. And um, the coral tree was made with a mixture of oil, water, and flour. We finally put it in a nonstick pan, and then afterwards we fried it till there was bubbles which popped up and made it look like a coral. And for the final dish, to, uh, for the final element in our dish was the mushroom and garlic timbal, which was made with by using by making mushroom and garlic and uh, blending it in and putting it inside a sabayo and then water steaming and baking it inside the inside the oven. And that is my display. Thank you very much.